It's Regina here. Oh, y'all, I have not filmed in so long, so I'm gonna have to like dust off some of this rust. But thank you so much for tuning in for another video. Welcome to Life with Regina. Um, I don't have much planned today, but I do want to go to Walmart and pick up some hangers, and I also want to clean my car out and go through the car wash and vacuum it out. So I'm probably gonna do that. Um. I just got done cleaning my rug. I'll let y'all see. So it's over here drying. And that's all the crap over there that came out from under the couch. Of course, there's always going to be some stuff in there. So I'm just letting it dry. I got the fan going. And I'm just letting it dry for right now. Um, but y'all, this is the only rug that I didn't clean when I cleaned the other three because this is our main seating area. And by the time I got done with those, it was just too late. It was going to be, it was just too late. So I like to clean it like in the morning when the kids leave. So by the time they come back around three or whatever, it's already dry. So I'm not dealing with it. Also, I got a haircut. Y'all can't really tell because I need to like... I just took my hair scarf off and I haven't flushed my hair out. What? Can y'all see? I love it. It's like a little uh, table situation. And I got a little design on the side, but y'all can't see it. I have to brush my hair out. All right, let me refresh these curls. Throw on a um, hoodie and some Snickers so I can go. I might just throw on these little Birkenstocks. But I don't have on anything fancy today, y'all. Leggings, my Tupac shirt from Target. And uh, yeah, so let me go up here and spritz my hair and then I'll show it to y'all again. Spritz it and kind of fluff it out. Cause it's like a mess right now. Be back. Just real quick before I leave. So I purchased this painting from Ross and you see it's on the floor and then I also got this one at Ross um I'm kind of torn on which one I think I do like the size of this over the fireplace let me step back so you see that one over the fireplace so I kind of do like it, but then I like, this one is huge compared to that one. And I think this one was only like 59 or 69, let me see. Oh, it was 49. So this one was only 49, I think this one was 39. So I'm not quite sure. I, I'm going to keep both, but I don't know if I'm going to keep this one over the fireplace also if you notice there's some blue tape on the floor that's because I was measuring for um built-ins I need to get my son to clean up all his crap that he has over there little toys his guitar um but yeah I need to figure out what I want to do with this around I think I want to go, go just black and take it all the way up to the ceiling with towel. But I have to see. But this definitely has to come down because it's actually loose and it's, it has actually fallen down before this top piece. Um, I don't know if it was like the heat from the fireplace and they didn't install it correctly 
because there's no like backer board or anything behind here. It's just drywall. There's no like concrete board or nothing. And I don't even know what this is. I don't know if it's, it's definitely heavy. So it's solid, <laughs> whatever it is. But I, um, it's not green. I don't know if it's like quartz or solid surface or, or something, but it is solid and it is heavy, but it needs to come down because um let me see if you can see it it is actually loose i don't know if y'all can see it like you can move this you can hear it so it is loose also another issue is we had to cap this gas line for this fireplace. So I need to talk to my husband and figure out what we plan on doing about that gas line before I even do the built-ins over here because when the um, HVAC guy, is it HVAC? I think whoever came out here and um, cap the gas line we were asking him how much it would it cost to get it fixed and he was like uh we have to like go into the wall and see what's going on and all that stuff so we was like mm, we don't even use this fireplace that much honey so no but um before i really need to talk to him about that because i don't want to have the built-ins put in I don't want to put them in and then we have to take them out in order to fix this gas line. It has, it's not a priority, honestly. So it's probably going to be a while. We probably won't be getting it fixed until we move. If we move, then we'll probably get it fixed. And by then, it, it'll just be is what it is. We'll just move the cabinet. So I might go, go ahead and just do the built-ins. But I did want to show y'all that. I'm going to throw this in the trash. I ended up buying, this is from, I bought another stick vacuum. Let me throw this away. Let me show y'all that real quick. Where is it? Oh, it's over here behind the couch. Hold on. I forgot I had to move the couch out. Alright, so this is my stick vacuum. I love it. It's so cute. Here she is. My stick vacuum is from Bissell. It's very lightweight. Extremely lightweight. It actually does work really well. I don't have the battery in it right now. It's charging. But I like it. I like it because it's... it's it can stand up by itself and it's light it's very lightweight like it's not as top heavy as the dyson was even though i loved my dyson but your girl was not about to pay hundreds of dollars to replace that dyson um what else i just want to show y'all some of the stuff that i've got because it's been a minute since i filmed it is dark and now it's like it's been a minute since i filmed so here's oh back to the hair Here's what it looks like now that it's, it's still kind of damp, but this is what it looks like. I did not brush it. I just realized that I didn't brush the sides. Oh, all right. And y'all, please don't ask me what color this is because it's actually a rinse on top of a permanent because when I dyed my hair, okay? I thought this was the color I was reaching for. The color that it came out was giving Ronald McDonald red. It was almost like reddish orange. My stepson said I look like a Cheeto. <laughs> a hot Cheeto. Oh my God. So I had to tone that red down. So I just put some Sienna Brown Rinse. I diluted it with water first and I just poured it all over my head. Let it sit for like five minutes and then just rinse it out. I just needed the color to deposit a little bit to tone down the very bright orange red. 
and it came in perfect so that's what it's looking like came out perfect what else did I want to show you guys um I ordered some stuff from Amazon so I ordered some new nail tips Y'all know I've been doing, well, y'all probably don't know, but I've been doing my gel nails at home. Oh, y'all, I just realized I did not get all that mascara off. It's all underneath my eye. Like I got punched. Jesus. Okay. Anyway, so I had the um, stilettos, but then I decided to get these. These are the uh, coffin shaped nails oh um, hey okay so i picked up these they're just um they're just they're just pillow covers to go on my bed So I got two, and these are 22 by 22. They're velvet. So I already have three green ones on my bed, so I'm gonna put these on there as well. And the, this is the name of the company. They're on Amazon. I will provide the link down below. Um, I also end up buying some replacements, the rechargeable, Hold on, y'all. What's this thing? Okay, there we go. Am I straight? I mean, okay, there we go. I also ended up buying a rechargeable, two rechargeable batteries for the Xbox because I'm tired of them going through batteries. So they come two in a pack. You can get them. You can buy them two in a pack, or you can buy them one in a pack. And it comes with a charger and two batteries. I think it was like twenty-seven dollars. So I had to have them, child, because we had one before and it ended up coming up missing. So this is what they look like. One of the batteries they already have in the Xbox. It comes with this little cord on the side. You just plug it into a wall socket or we have like that um, charging station with like five or six different plug-ins. So just put it in that, charge it up. And they charge relatively quickly too. So bought this, it's going to come in handy when, uh, when they're playing the game. I was gonna go and clean my car out. Let me get in the light. There we go. I was gonna go and clean my car out, but y'all, I have so much. I have so much to do in this house. I have so much laundry. So that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Um, I just wanted to show y'all some stuff. Oh, let me show y'all what I got for Christmas. I love it and I use it every single day. I got an Oculus. I love this thing and I use it every single day. I need to start like a gaming channel for moms. Moms who game. Black girl gamers. Millennial moms that game. Something. But yeah, I used to be a gamer back in the day, y'all, before I had all these cheering. Um, and I've always, I've always played video games. I love video games. Grand Theft Auto used to be my jam back in the day. And then I had kids and I just didn't have time anymore. And so I love my Oculus because when I get home and I'm like, okay, I need like 20 minutes to decompress. I hop on my Oculus. The only thing about that Oculus is I can only play it for like 30 minutes at a time. It's, 
I don't know. I guess it's all the movement and stuff. It can get hot and sweaty. And also, you can get motion sickness from it. So, if you suffer from motion sickness, like certain games on there, you may not be able to play. Or you may have to, like, do some hacking or something to um, help with the motion sickness. Take some medicine. Um, I've realized that, like, having a fan going and blowing on you, like a standing fan, helps. So, you're not getting sick from the motion sickness. Because some of these games, they go like really fast and you're moving really, really fast. Like your eyes are moving really fast and your body's staying still. So you're going to get motion sick. So that's just a little warning in case you want to get an Oculus. If you have severe motion sickness, you may want to rethink it. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I want to show y'all my little cup. I'm showing y'all everything. I picked this one up from Walmart. My other one that looks like the Starbucks cup. This one might be a replica of a Starbucks cup too. But the other one I had. I don't even have it anymore. It looks just like the Starbucks cup that they had out. I, I think I had to show it. I had to find a picture. But anyway. I ended up dropping it at my parents house. We was outside on the deck and I dropped it and it broke. And I love that cup. It was so pretty. But I ended up getting this one. It's very like spring, summer time. So, RIP to that one. This one's cute or whatever, but it's not as cute as my other one. Um, that's a. Been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she's so down Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, girl, no, maybe In the meantime In the meantime In the meantime a beast like Odell. Oh, but my, my killers don't tell. Shut down my mark of the New York to sell. Now my bitch is dishing hell. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get no maybe. In the meantime, it's the meantime. I don't know if you want been a few hours, but it's like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves faster than you want. In the meantime, I just I'm doing what I want. In the meantime, you do what you want. In the meantime, I just I'm doing what I want. In the meantime, you do what you want. Maybe I'll love myself, I don't know Leave me here, I'll fuck myself She been a mirror So this is what it's looking like I've got ever the pillows And you see My pictures over here Are green and blue Green and blue I'm gonna get rid of these Curtains because I'm not a fan of them. The quality is just no. I also gotta get something to go over this bed. Well, I'm not gonna get anything over this bed just yet. Because I wanna paint this wall and add some um uh, trim to it. So I think I'm going to move that mirror out of here. Um, and put it downstairs. I don't know yet. And then I'm gonna go to Ikea and get two mirrors to put on the side. I really don't. I, I'm probably not gonna do that because I, 
everybody got those two mirrors on the side. Everybody. So I probably not gonna do two mirrors on the side. I just, I might get like three small mirrors to put across, but I'm definitely not gonna be, I'm not doing two mirrors on the side. I'll probably just to do, find some artwork, uh, go to Ross or somewhere or Home Goods and get like some longer, long pieces of artwork to go on either side. I bought my first pair of dunks. Are these not the cutest little things? And they're navy blue. That's not black. Let's see. Here. They're navy blue. And like this kind of khaki cam camel light tan color. That's so cute. I said, look at me looking like a little youngster. I love these. I haven't worn them yet, though. I was going to wear them the other day, but child, they, these things got so many freaking laces. I was like, oh, uh, uh, let me put on these other shoes real quick. But yeah, these are so cute. I love these. Ah, I dropped them. There they are. They're so cute. And I love that they're navy and not black. Look like Tyler Berry But she don't love me, she too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know if she too down Will you be my leading lady? Alright y'all, so it is still Thursday Let's find some light, there it is, hi Um, y'all, my camera both of my batteries died earlier so i had to stop filming and um charge them up huh you want to film here you go what's your name Kay what's your name kayla oh okay anywho <laughs> um so i had to stop filming y'all so I'm about to cook some burgers. Ah. My shadow. Yes, Brian. Ah. I'm about to cook some burgers right now. And that is it. Yeah. I don't know what you can help me with though, but yeah, help you put your I guess you can help me put them on the griddle. Yeah. Talking like a baby. I am ready. Say, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. I can do the vlog. Kayla, they can't understand it. Stop talking like a baby. Welcome Say. to the vlog. Thank you. Bye. Y'all, I'm cooking with 90% um, lean ground beef. I get it from Sam's in like this big long chug. And then I cut it into like four pieces. I do not want to lay down. I get it from Sam's. I cut it into like four sections and then I put it in the freezer bag and flatten it out so it's like this. 
and each section, I think I got like a nine, almost 10 pound shoe, like a 9.7. No, I think it was like 9.8. This is not. Ugh. There we go. Right. It's like a 9.8 um, pound chug. And it was like $40, I think. Like $44, $42, something like that. But it's 90% lean. You don't have all that extra grease. And you get a more bang for your book. I, I just like to buy the lean cleaner. Because what I have learned is that the the what, what am I trying to say? What I have learned is that the more fat, the cheaper it is, but you have less meat. <laughs> Once it cooks down, half of your meat, half of the poundage is now fat and or grease. So it's not that serious. I just, I prefer to buy, I, I spend more money on the front end by the lean versus the um, kind of excess fatty. And I was going to do this outside because we have a black stone, but it started raining. <laughs> so I can't do it outside. Then I remembered that the black stone needs to be clean too. Somehow it got rusty. But it's been covered, so I don't know how, what that is, but somehow it has gotten rusty. So I need to clean it, re-season it, and then I'll be able to cook on it. But I was going to cook on that, but I'm just cooking on my indoor griddle today. My griddle is set on 300. And also, I got my griddle from Aldi, y'all. You know that infamous Aldi owl? <laughs> I got this griddle like two, maybe three years ago. All right, what I will also say is this ground beef is room temperature and it's not growing up as much as it would be if it was cold. I didn't realize that until now. <laughs> Which I don't know how I didn't realize it, but um because it's the same way with steak. When you take steak out of the refrigerator and put it straight on the um like try to cook it straight out of the refrigerator, it will contract. I don't know why I didn't equate that to ground beef contracting. I don't know. But now I know. It contracts way less when it's room temperature versus when it's like cold straight out of the refrigerator and you try or well frozen doesn't tend to um, shrink up as much. But yeah, this is not shrinking up as much as you can see. There you go. Time. It's the 
the meantime In the meantime Baby, I'm not myself I don't know Leave me here, I'll fuck myself See me in the mirror, I duck myself Don't need much, so fuck my wealth Hi, you guys. Good morning. It is now Friday. I still have my ugly morning voice. I'm about to make some coffee and clean up my mess from last night. I made burgers. I end up leaving all these condiments out. I was tired, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make a latte, um, finish up some work, and then later on, I don't know what we're gonna do. We might take the boys bowling tonight have like a little family activity y'all let me get back in the light y'all it's friday and i am exhausted like i'm so tired <laughs> we're gonna push through and we're gonna make it through so yeah let's get this coffee and this latte together real quick selling a set of four I think it's like twenty dollars but I like it it's very smooth it's not like overly intense it has the intensity five out of ten so if you like a stronger espresso um you may not want to get you may want to get another another type they have like different types under this brand so this is the Espresso Italiano, and it is the 5 out of 10 strength. And I have been enjoying this.
I have literally had my robe on all day. I usually would put clothes on around lunch, but I ain't putting nothing on today, y'all. I ain't care. All right, let's um get this hair. So y'all, look at my gel. I wonder should I put some gel in my hair? Hmm. Okay, let me just wet it. Y'all got all those spray bottles that I need to wash my face too because I did not wash my face this morning. Y'all yeah, know those spray bottles that you get from like um Sally's the ones that you like you press it and it just continuously mists. Those things have gotten so expensive. Like I went into Sally's the other day and was like, what in the entire blank is happening right now? I need to get a towel. Okay, let me wash my face. This is some foaming cleanser from Wild World, Walmart. Oh, I shouldn't have wet my hair as much. And if y'all have any skincare tips, please feel free to leave them down below. Cause I am trying to get my skincare or my skincare routine together. You know, more than just washing my face and adding moisturizer. Like what serums do y'all use? What um, face masks, under eye masks, especially cause your girl be tired. Um, like toners and nothing like crazy expensive, y'all. No, I just want a very simple skin routine. Okay, real simple. Cause I've been looking at some of these skin routines on TikTok, and I'm like, who? First of all, who the hell got time to? put on 452 different products on their face. And who's paying for that? Like, if it take all of this, then. If it take all of that, then. I don't know if I want it. There's a few people I follow and I'm like, Y'all skincare routine is so intricate. And I can't imagine how all of these um, items and all of these different serums are not counteracting one another. I just, I don't know. But anyhow, the hair is damp, it's wet. I'm gonna spread a little bit more in the back. I don't know why I don't ever get the back really wet. Um, you see how it looks? Now I'm gonna add the mousse. And I don't go section by section, I just put a lot of it in my hand, child. And add it. Add a little bit more. That's probably like eight pumps. 
That was probably like, first time I probably think I did like maybe eight pumps. The second time I think I did like maybe five. Cause I just needed one little section. All right. Now I'm gonna comb, which I should have done before I added the mousse. Don't know why I did not. I definitely should have combed this before I add the mousse. Comb before you add the mousse, y'all. I'm doing this so backwards. I'm just combing through, making sure. And I just kind of comb my hair a little, comb it forward. We're gonna see how this gonna work out. <laughs> All right. Just gonna part it and then kind of break my fingers through the sections. Y'all see my roots are hot. That's because I had to add rinse on top of the already colored hair because I was looking like Ronald freaking McDonald. This is what I should have done. I should have started with the front. I don't know why I did that. And my comb just fell on the floor. All right, one other one. So I'm just raking it. Breaking with my fingers. Oh, I'm in. Okay. I need to more suppress my face now. Yeah, I'll be so all over the place. I really need to get evaluated for ADD. Seriously. Okay. Trying to make sure the hair is where I want it to be before it starts to dry because I don't want to get. I don't want to get a spray down. Wash my hands. Add some moisturizer. I know they say you're not supposed to tone with witch hazel, but I'm doing it. It's done. All right. Still got hair color on it. <laughs> All right. So, I had a sample of the Tasha um, moisturizer, and their moisturizer is so good, but it is so expensive. It's like $98, but it's like so thick. When I tell you a little bit goes a long way. So I'm contemplating.
Yeah, I'm laying it forward because my hair is like on my forehead. Uh, but anyway, that moisturizer is so good. This feels more like lotion. Look, I just picked up the Walmart brand. Yeah, that definitely don't feel like the Tasha. All right. What is moisturizing? I'm not gonna add any serums. I have vitamin C and then I also have retinol. Let me see what I got. Is it okay? And I picked these up at Marshalls. Is it focusing? I hope so. Is it focusing? There it is. Okay. Alright, so now when it dries, I'm gonna flip my hair. So that's dry. I'm going to put some clothes on. Thank you.